Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike, just in case you were new here, and I hope you are having a wonderful weekend. I'm starting to feel better off of chemo. I'm starting to feel a little bit more like myself. This round wasn't too bad, honestly. Um, I went in Wednesday for it and it was stayed up until like 3 a.m. the night before on Tuesday. So I guess 3 a.m. Wednesday morning. And when I got there, they started the anti-nausea meds and then they gave me the Benadryl and I just pass out. Most of the time I wake up when they're switching the chemos and I didn't. I was just crashed out. The nurse came in. She was like, hey, uh, you ready? And I was like, oh, we're switching it. She's like, no, you're done. I was like, OK, I guess we're out. So I uh, got home. I was able to finish that video for y'all and post it. Um, which, by the way, thank y'all so very much for all the kind words that um, y'all had to say towards my mom. And if y'all have any questions for her, she would be more than happy to answer them whenever she gets back. They are, uh, her and my dad are out and about hanging with friends because um, it's my dad's birthday weekend. So they're out enjoying themselves. So yeah, whenever she gets back, if y'all have any questions, feel free. She'll, she'll answer them. Today's definitely going pretty good. Yesterday wasn't too bad. I still felt kind of under the weather, kind of blah, but, um, I kind of pushed myself to go outside a lot more and just be outside because I needed to it. I, I needed to it. Really? I needed to it. I needed to it. I needed it. Yeah. It was just, it, just being outside really helped. I don't know why I had these on. There's nothing playing. I've just got headphones on for no reason. Um, could have been listening to music while talking to y'all, but then I'd get very distracted because I get distracted easily. Like now, what was I talking about? Um, yeah, yesterday wasn't bad. Thursday kind of sucked, but drinking plenty of water and help flushing that out of my system, trying to keep food on my stomach definitely helped. So that was, uh, oh, excuse me. That was definitely a plus. I was able to keep everything down. I had one little bout. Hello, come back. Thank you. We're right here. We're right here. I had one bout of dry heaving. That was pretty bad. And it, I would much rather vomit than dry heave. Dry heaving is like you just did a hundred sit-ups. And with both my stomas and the scar tissue from the surgeries, it sucked. It hurts. So that finally calmed down. It is official. I am going to once a month. We're going to see how that goes. And uh, if the pain comes back too quick, then oh well, I'll go back on two weeks. But it is official. I am going on once a month. But um, since we're talking about, you know, trying to keep food on my stomach and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I wanted to answer two questions that I had had, which some people might, you know, be curious about. The first one comes from um, the real Max mom. She says, I'd love to see a video about cancer cravings. I had crazy sugar cravings before diagnosis, how we get around mouth sores, etc. Might be fun. I didn't really have cancer cravings before the diagnosis. It was pretty normal in the sense that um, I just like food. Now, chemo cravings, on the other hand, that's a whole different story in the sense of when I do chemo, it feels like there's a brick in my stomach and I don't want to eat. I don't want any food whatsoever. I'm just trying to put something down. When the chemo starts to wear off, my hunger starts coming back and I want everything. Like everything under the sun. I've gone to Wendy's to get a spicy chicken sandwich, to Jack in the Box to get their egg rolls, to McDonald's to get a couple McDoubles with Big Mac sauce, and then to Popeye's to get their mashed potatoes and french fries in one day. Like I went to go get all of that because I wanted all of those things at once. I don't know why. Chick-fil-A was a big thing that constantly helped me. Anytime uh, I was coming off of chemo, I, was, I would crave that. Go get me a grilled chicken sandwich with their waffle fries or fruit cup. Fruit cup was always better, but it, it's fantastic. It sucks because I want all of the food, but it's fantastic because I can finally eat the food and the plastic taste is gone. That's like uh, yesterday. On Friday, I got really, really hungry. My appetite started coming back. And we had this um, this little 
hole in the wall Chinese place and I, I, I wanted it. I wanted Chinese. So I got the dinner plate of broccoli beef with vegetable fried rice, which is supposed to feed like three people. And I ate it. All of it. Plus three egg rolls and two spicy salmon rolls. And it wasn't enough. I ended up making um, extreme butter popcorn because that sounded amazing. So when my when my chemo cravings come in, like I uh, I, I can't 100% say that this is how it is because you know I've never been pregnant, but um, it's almost like pregnancy cravings. Like I want everything all at once, weird combinations. It's just why? Why do I why do I want this? Why do I need this? I don't care. Put it in my mouth. Stop talking. Kind of thing. So yeah, I definitely had um, way more cancer or way more uh, chemo cravings than I did cancer cravings. I didn't really get uh, too many mouth sores when it when it came to that. Um, didn't really have to deal with all that that much. It's mainly just the um, the typical Cetuximab rash is what I deal with, like the the pimple face and blah 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 looks like puberty hit me again but the uh yeah i hope i i hope that um kind of gave you an insight and then um i got another quick little question that i wanted to answer from um theo rim zero which i hope i'm saying that right it's either that or the orem zero they asked uh when you're able a nutritional video would be great my mother has had lung cancer before and she has it again. She'll be starting her chemo next week. She says she gets so tired that she can't find the energy to eat or drink. And I'm worried about that this time too. Plus the nausea gets bad. So when it comes down to that, I don't know if you've heard of the Bratz diet. It's bananas, rice, apples, and toast. Uh, I know it's a lot to try to want to eat, but I find that putting something on my stomach helps kind of keep the nausea away um if she hasn't tried zofran maybe that would help i can't do zofran anymore for some reason whenever i do um whenever i'm home from chemo if i try zofran for some reason i get nauseous more it's really weird but um yeah the, the brats diet helps just kind of mash up some bananas um cook up some rice real quick add a little bit of sugar and cinnamon maybe that'll help um, applesauce has always been a good thing for me. And then, um, my mom, if for some reason toast is something I want, she'll, uh, she'll make me toast with butter, cinnamon, and sugar, just like a little cinnamon toast. And it's, it's fantastic. I'm able to keep that down pretty well. Ritz crackers was always a good thing with me as well. You know, they're, they're not extreme there. There's not a lot of flavor, but there's enough to kind of coat the mouth and take care of the plastic taste plus you're also putting something on your stomach i did the uh what's it called bagels just normal store-bought bagels that's what i did um thursday i think i did it wednesday and thursday i um i didn't toast it didn't add anything to it didn't warm it up i just took it out of the bag tore it open and started tearing pieces off and eating it like that was that was able to help me so um I would try that. Um, the Boost chocolate protein drink was a, a big thing for me that I was able to drink and keep down. Um, but I also have to have it like cold, cold, like as cold as you can get it before it starts to freeze. Or if she can handle the taste of all of it, V8 juice. You would think with the acidity from the tomatoes that it would kind of stir up your stomach but um it helped a lot with me and then also to to help with like the plastic taste if she does get it um and if she can handle it i will say it does sit kind of hard um get some ice water if she's able to i don't know what kind of chemo she's going on um just try lemon water um cut you a lemon in half put it in the ice water like squeeze it into the water and mix it up and give it to her I mean, it's something and maybe um, it kind of triggers a little bit of an appetite. By all means, I am not a nutritionist. I'm not a dietitian. These are things that I've just, I've looked into to 
see what kind of helps me. Yeah, I mean, hopefully that does help. And she's able to um, get some kind of food in her. Even, uh, 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 what is it called? Mashed potatoes. Y'all didn't help me at all with that. Mashed potatoes. Just very simple, very bland, but mashed potatoes. You'd be surprised on how much that just kind of is able to sit and and help. At least me. Try that. Try those things. See if, if she's down for it. I really hope she's able to eat something. I hope it, it becomes a little easier for her. And um, she's able to get some kind of just relief from the nausea. Hopefully, um, hopefully that helped a little bit. But I'm, I've got some more videos coming up. And then starting next Friday, all my friends from up north, um, I've got five people coming down. And I'm going to bombard y'all with vlogs every day while they're down here just to um just to kind of show that even though you might be going through chemo or fighting cancer or even if you're somebody that's helping somebody go through chemo or somebody that's fighting cancer that you can still go out and enjoy yourself you can still go have fun like yeah there are certain things you don't need to do that the doctors recommend not to do when you're fighting cancer or doing chemo but it's still your life. The cancer is not your life. You are in charge of your life. So if you want to go have fun, if you want to go have a beer, like if it's detrimental to you and you're not supposed to, then obviously don't do it. But go out and have fun. Like, like I stated before, your situation is what sucks. Life doesn't suck. So we can enjoy ourselves while we're here, you know, while we're going through this crappy situation. So I wanted to, um, uh, I wanted to show y'all like, you know, me having some fun and enjoying myself. Yes, there will probably be beer drinking, but you know, it's okay. I'll be fine. Done it before. It's just enjoying myself. So I promise I won't get crazy, but I wanted to bring y'all along for that ride and kind of show y'all the other side of things that's not cancer and chemo and treatments and blah and doctors and whatever just that beer more uplifting things you know so i'm gonna just kind of coming with me kind of thing so yeah other than that i'm doing pretty good today hopefully um it's still saturday whenever i upload this and uh if not i hope you have a wonderful day of whatever day it is that, that you're watching this it's a Monday. Have a happy Monday. If it's a Tuesday or Thursday or Wednesday, have a happy those days. And uh, just just remember to keep looking out for them silver linings. They're out there. I promise. But until the next video, I will see you. I hit my glasses. Uh, bye.